new Covent Garden flower market in the heart of London. It's one of those places you really need to visit to experience the wonderful variety of flowers, foliage, plants and sundries from 30 fantastic wholesalers. Well, I remember my very first time coming to the market 25 years ago, and I do remember feeling terrified as walking in and thinking, okay, where do I start? I would say for a first visit to the flower market, you should either come with somebody who knows the market well, or arrange one of the free introductory tours that the market offer, because it's quite nice to know how it works, where everything is. I couldn't not use New Covent Garden Market. I just love the availability, the banter, the chat, the fact that it's all here, it's so inspiring. I particularly love the people. I think the people of Covent Garden Market are the salt of the earth. They're like my, my friends in this business and wouldn't let me down. And there isn't anything they don't know about flowers and they cannot do enough to help us. We enjoy it and we have fun with the customers and we try and give them our information and listen to what they need and what, what we can supply them, you know. Having the relationship with the traders that I have at New Covent Garden Market is vital to my business. They're the other arm. I'm lucky enough to work overseas and I really miss New Covent Garden Market when I'm away from it. I mean, the choice now is unbelievable to where it used to be. Uh, most of our flowers come from Holland. Uh, we buy from Thailand, the Caribbean, Italy, England. They grow flowers, we get them. It's the choice. People walk in here. It's very hard to beat. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy the experience. Wander around, get the feel of the place, and whoever's the nicest, pop back and see them and buy their plants off them. Even though I've been a florist for 12 years now, I still see new varieties every time I come. And we try and make a point to buy whatever it is new that we've seen that day. With our business, it's very integral to see how things work together and how things pair up together. And I think unless you're physically picking things up and, you know, it's a very hands-on experience. Within all our different suppliers, we've probably got access to probably three or 4,000 different lines. Challenge is actually coming up with new items and sort of expanding the range and coming up with something that people are going to look at, they're going to see and they're going to think, wow, I haven't seen that before, that's really great, that's really exciting. We sell everything. The huge vases, like a metre high, literally from garden furniture, uh, mirror plimps, candelabra. One of the biggest sundries in the country, let alone in the market, so. I can be coming through that door on a Monday morning at 4 a.m. No one wants to be up at 4 a.m. on a Monday morning. Uh, come through the door, but when they leave the stand, they're happy. I've been coming to the market probably for about 20 years now, certainly once or twice a week. I think if I could turn the clock back 20 years, I would say to florists that are starting out, don't be intimidated, go to market, meet people, come and be part of, of this amazing place. Just the atmosphere, the environment, obviously being surrounded by beautiful flowers, um, the people, the people make it for me as well. Like, and, you know, it's just really a sort of family environment that you know, we're part of and I just feel really special to be part of that, honoured really. This is the way we want to promote our market. We want to bring new people in, we want to bring new florists in. Just come and ask us. I know it's intimidating, but once you're in, you're like a family. And don't forget, if you'd like to arrange a free introductory tour, simply get in contact. We'd love to show you around. See you soon.